and Kathleen. Welcome to Kawaii Art Cafe. So I've been a vendor for about half a year now and here are some of my table displays at the five cons that I've been to so far. And in this video, I'd like to show you my most updated table layout as of spring 2020. Starting with the basics, here is the base of my whole display. I basically start off with a pink tablecloth I got off of Amazon. And then I put some white grid cubes and stack them into little shells on top. I also decorated the grid cubes with fairy lights that I taped on as well as my laminated art prints. And then on top, I add PVC pipes and my handmade fabric tent that creates a canopy for my booth. Down below is a banner, and how I attach this is I actually put an invisible fishing line in between the grommets so you can't see it too clearly. <laughs> so this is the base of my booth. And this is what my booth looks like after I add all of my new products. So here is a very brief overview. So right here are some plushies, some cups, buttons, charms, prints. And I'll be going over these one by one, how I get them displayed like this, a couple of tips and tricks here and there to hopefully help you get more sales at Artist Alley's. So starting up here, you can kind of see my prints in the background. And these are our crochet plushies. We have a Pikachu, Charmander, Bulbasaur. If you'd like to see how these are made, I actually include them in my Studio Vlog 6. And then here are a couple more crochet plushies my mom made. So Squirtle, Baby Yoda, which is my favorite, <laughs> and Molong. Down here are some customized resin tumbler cups. So right here you can see my sticker designs in each glitter tumbler. And my favorite is the Totoro mint one right here. Get a closer look. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> and over here, across from the cups, is displayed my mom's crochet cup bear cozies. So these are handmade little cup cozies. So when you have a cold or hot drink, it's a little bit more comfortable. And I really like the little pom pom tail in the back. If you'd like to see how those are made, I include it in my studio vlog five. Down here is my new button display. Now I simplified this a lot. Basically, I displayed all of my designs on one single whiteboard here. I think I have about 30 designs or so. And how I display it is... I actually put this on like a picture holder from Walmart and some boxes. And this is just a whiteboard with fairy lights taped on it. Down here, I have one of each of all of my buttons so that people can actually get a sizing feel excuse me, <laughs> get a feel of the samples. Also make sure it's very secure and it's slanted upward instead of just laying flat on the table. And over here is the center of my booth. Of course you see my price board right there. My prices are constantly changing depending on the event. And right here are my homemade resin charms. I actually just made a tutorial for my resin charms if you'd like to check it out. Here are my pom-pom charms. And these are on these rotating jewelry tiers that I got off of Amazon. They're very handy, very affordable. Here I have some Sakura charms, which are my favorite. <laughs> These I also sell on my Etsy. And here are some shaker charms. Now I do show a sneak peek of how to make these shaker charms in my studio vlog, I think 
it's number three. I'm not too certain. I'll add a clip over here. But basically, I just show a little bit behind the scenes how I make my shaker charms. And down below is a couple more items. On the left, I have some mini prints that people can just flip through. As well as a medium print, which is my Doki Doki print. And here for business cards, I recommend getting stands for your business cards. Uh, business cards are very important for promoting your stuff. As well as, I noticed lying them on the table, people were scooting them around, so I recommend getting a stand for those. These are my enamel pins. I actually have them in a stacked business card holder. I hope I'm not talking too quickly. But you can see how I make these in the studio book, too. Over here are some extra charms. I'm not sure what to do with these. These are just my last one, so I just have them lying on my table for now. <laughs> And here are some more mini prints. And more business cards. And I like everything to be upright. I try not to have too much flat on my table. On the right side is a new sticker display. It's a little bit different than my old one. So I'm actually using a $5 kitchen rack I got from like the dollar store. Here's some of my planner stickers. And what I do to make a shelf is I basically cut some plastic, fold it in half so that I can display my stickers at a diagonal like this. So it's not just flat on my table. You can see it from far away. I also have a sticker tutorial for these cake stickers if you're interested. And this is how I display my die cut stickers just like my buttons. I stick them on a whiteboard. And the display on the back is pretty much the same as the button display. And that sums up most of my display. And lastly, for some tips and tricks, a lot of people have been asking me, how do I make my branding look more professional? And personally for me, I think it all has to do with like having a theme, a color scheme, and sticking with it, staying cohesive. So for me, my brand is Koi Art Cafe. I like cute, happy things, and you can tell I have a very pastel, bright, cheerful aesthetic. So I try to keep those elements in each and every art piece, and it really helps put everything together. I also like to add levels to my booth. I try not to have everything flat and add a little bit of symmetry to draw the eye in from the outside of the booth all the way to the middle. All right, I hope that helps and this video has inspired you with your own Artist Alley booth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do, um, I'd like to thank my coffee supporters for helping me support this video. If you'd like to become a coffee supporter, please check out my coffee page. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!